Thanks to you. Next, the Center for Inquiry. Mr. President, according to a new statistical report by UNICEF, at least 200 million girls and women alive today have suffered female genital mutilation in at least 30 countries. While primarily a practice that was limited to Africa and the Middle East, FGM has more recently found its way into the West, being practiced in certain immigrant communities. According to the Population Reference Bureau, more than half a million women and girls are at risk of undergoing FGM in the United States or abroad, or have already undergone undergone the procedure, include a hundred, including 166,000 under the age of 18. It is unacceptable that in the 21st century, women are forced to undergo such an inhuman and painful procedure, especially for those who are too young to protest. Many girls do not survive the ordeal due to bleeding and infection, and those who do are scarred both physically and emotionally for life. The human rights of those unable to protest must be protected by those of us who can. This Council has a mandate to do just this, and we thank you for the Vienna Declaration. Therefore, Mr. Vice President, we urge the Council to make FGM an international criminal offence so that governments and individuals can be held accountable for allowing FGM to continue. Thank you.